Today, we are going to be talking about strength. And now that the kids have learned all about putting on the armor of God in their classes, we're going to do some tests of strength to see how strong things are to stand up against something else, and then ultimately, how strong are they to stand up against the evil one. So, tests of strength, the first experiment, we are going to have two supports of some kind. I'm using these little boxes, and I'm going to put them about, you know, five, six inches apart. You can, you can vary that. There's, it's not really a set length. And then I'm going to put a plain sheet of white paper across here like a bridge. Now, we found that the paper, if you put it a certain way, it tends to want to already start bowing down. If that's the case, just flip it over, and then it'll be a little more sturdy for you. So the idea of this one is to see how many marbles can we place into a cup or a bowl, something that you have set on your bridge. And some of the time, when you set your cup onto this bridge, it's already going to fail. Oh, it's already sinking down. If you add a marble or two, it's already on the floor. Okay, so not very strong. However, we can take the same kind of paper and put folds along the length of it, the long side, to make a corrugated looking type of bridge. And when we set that one on there, it's the same paper. So should it be the same strength? Well, let's find out. So we're going to put our cup or bowl back across there. So we're going to see how many marbles the kids can put in there. And so uh, we had them count. Now with this one, they do have to be a little careful because if all their marbles go to one side, it's going to spill. But they, they could put their marbles in and then they could count and see how many marbles they could get in there. But greatly already much better than zero marbles. Okay, so that was tests of strength. And then the next one is battering rams. Okay, again, looking to see how strong are we to stand up against what is battering against us. So, to make the frames, again, if you've already made frames for the second day, Newton's cradle experiment, you can just take those golf balls off and use the same frame. Or if you haven't made that and you need to make one now, you're going to have a piece of base, and it doesn't really matter the size. This is, this is totally subjective here. Um, I got my wood from woodpeckers.com. They cut all of these base pieces for me, and they even cut my dowels for me that I'm going to use as my supports. So I take my base piece. I'm going to need several craft sticks, jumbo craft sticks. I'm going to need some sort of ram. They're extra large dowels. This is what we happen to use. Really, you could use anything that you have. It does not have to be this. Wood glue to connect mine because it gives a little more strength, well, actually quite a bit more strength than just using glue dots, but that is at your discretion. And I also use some colored jumbo craft sticks just to add a little excitement to them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two jumbo craft sticks. I glued them together. I wrapped them in some tape so that they stay together. And then when they were dry, I removed the tape. So you're going to need two of these double stacks for each one. You're going to need four of these dowels or whatever you're using for your supports. And one frame, two colored jumbo sticks, or you could just use the regular ones. Totally up to you. And um, some masking tape. So what we did first, there's a couple of different ways we could go at it. We could start by putting our double stack down and with the wood glue, attaching, put those down, attaching these here with wood glue, okay? And let them dry. And when you have one on each end, they wind up like this. Or you could also 
instead of attaching your dowels to the double stack, you could attach your dowels directly to the base. So once you have that, the next thing would be to put them all together. If you did it this way, get these attached on here with some glue. Actually, these are going to go down my long side. But if you have squares, it's not going to matter. Um, and then you're going to put the colored across the other way just to give it a little, you know, a little shot of color there. Now we have to attach our battering ram. Okay, so we just used floss. This is what you would make friendship bracelets out of, what you cross stitch, embroidery floss. And we would cut them to the length in the instructions and then tie one at the front, making sure the tails are fairly even, and tie one around the back. Now the back of these with the shape of it, it'll slide right off. So we added a piece of masking tape there to hold that on. And then we're just going to attach this. I will attach my front first and I will get the front where I want it to be, just like right about there. And then I would use masking tape to secure. And then once those are secure, I would do the same with the back so that it's nice and level right in the center until I wind up with this. And this is our battering ram. Now the kids can take this and they can see what types of things around the room can stand up to their battering ram. Say, for instance, here's an empty box. Okay. They can just pull it right up to there. They can pull their ram back. Boom. Okay. But here's a heavier box. This one is full of marbles. Let's see if it can do that to this one. Not so much. On this craft, this was the very last craft that we did. I asked the kids to take theirs home and put it on a shelf somewhere in their room where when they see this, they remember to put on their armor of God so that every day they can stand up against the battering of Satan.